hello guys welcome back to video number five in, in, in our introduction to introduction to programming uh with python with series okay so in this tutorial we're going to go ahead and just learn how to build a simple calculator uh, okay just because you have learned a lot and i think you can do a simple project on building a simple calculator just can just add uh, taking two values from the user can from the user add the first value second value and then the user can simply maybe get a sum or a product of those two values right so that's basically it so uh let's just look what's next so let's actually write the uh, solution for the last uh, tutorial's assignment so the last assignment you are told to write a program that takes in uh, values uh, like kilograms and then converts them into pounds and then finally print the output so we prompt the user type in a value in kilograms and then finally our program will do the conversion into pounds and then print out the result in pounds okay so let's actually, actually do that uh, in here so i'm just going to go into my assignment folder and instead of my assignment folder i'm going to go ahead and delete everything in there okay good so once we have that done uh, actually the first uh, couple of things that we need to know before we begin so i have just going to keep a comment right there so we're just going to say kilograms kgs to pounds okay pounds just like that so one thing we need to know we need to know the conversion rate okay so one kilogram so one uh one kg one kg okay one kg is equivalent to i uh, just check this online so say 2.2 uh zero four uh six two so that's one kilogram so one kilogram is equals to this amount of pounds okay so pounds okay so one kilogram is this amount of pounds so whenever we get a user input we'll multiply which is going to be in kilograms we're going to multiply with this value to get its pounds okay its equivalence in pounds so actually let's go ahead and the first thing we need to do is actually get the user input so i'm going to say uh, uh let me just say kil kilogram value and it's going to be equals to uh, this is going to be of type uh integer okay you're going to say it's going to be of type input you're going to uh, prompt the user for input so i say input and then say um type in value in kgs okay so i'm going to keep a space that's uh, this space is not compulsory you can leave it if you want but i just want a space so the user can have a room like for for typing out okay it's not compulsory if you don't want it to you can uh, try it out and see how it works okay okay so once we get the uh, the value this is going to be in of type string right so but you want to store it in an integer type so let's go ahead and convert this into an integer and that's how we can convert the user input into an integer okay uh, okay once we convert it into an integer now we want to go ahead and say uh let me just find the pounds value so say pounds uh, i'm going to say uh let's say conversion uh let me write conversion underscore rate conversion rate is going to be this value right here which is going to be of type float right so i'm going to go ahead and copy this value right here and paste it here and make sure that this is going to be of type uh float okay so we have the conversion rate and it's going to be of type float and it's going to be equal to this value so once i have that i'm going to go ahead and simply i uh, do the result so let's say result uh result of the conversion or we can say conversion result or whatever and you're just going to go ahead and multiply an integer because it's going to be an integer you're going to multiply an, int an integer in a float so when we multiply an integer in a float you should get back a float so i'm going to go ahead and say this is going to be of type float so type float and then finally we're going to say equals to conversion uh con conversion rate multiplied by the kilogram value that we got from the user and that's finally we can go ahead and print you can say result uh, this is going to be a string so i'm going to say uh, result result there and i'm just going to go ahead and print out the result here so i'm going to say result right here so good that's all we want to do so we're going to get the value from the user being kilograms. kilogram so we're going to multiply it uh this is going to be a constant right a constant so in python what you do if you have a constant is by convention you keep all of it in uppercase so let's go ahead and do that okay conversion uh conversion underscore rate so in python if every time you have a constant make sure your constant are always uppercase so all of it in uppercase so that's it so then take the code the constant of the conversion rate multiply by the kilogram value that we got and then we, get, we saw the answer in results because an integer multiplied by uh, a float is going to be a float so it's going to be of type float and then finally we print out the result okay so let's go ahead and do that i'm just going to go in here and then change directory okay my caps is long so change directory back and then simply do uh, python 3 again if you're on windows it's just going to be pi right but if you're on linux and macbook you have to type out python python 3 okay python 3 and then i'm going to say assignment and infinite render so let's say i want to convert 10 kilos to pounds so i get the, the result as 22 point this much about uh pound times of pounds right so that's basically because it is going to take this and move the air uh, the decimal point to one part here and it's going to return to us 22.0462 pounds right so that's how we got the result so it's correct okay what if i want to convert uh convert something i'll say, I'll say 10.2 into pounds right our program is going to fail okay can you really tell why the program failed to convert 10.2 kilograms into pounds so let's pause the video and try to think about a bit uh, think about it a bit okay 
think about a bit and why we are failing to convert it into pounds again one important thing in programming that i want you to learn in this lesson is always reading out errors you can see the error right, error, error right here says that invalid literal for input int right so we cannot convert 10.2 into an integer and we tried that in the last row and got an error so you can't convert into a, a, an, in an integer because an integer has a base 10 right so we have to go ahead and say float right here so i have to say float and I'll go ahead and also say float right here and it's a good thing whenever you're creating a calculator or something that takes numbers from users to always specify uh, the value as floats because you know you don't know what the user is going to type in you know what the user is going to type in either an integer it will work if the user types in a float it's going to fail but if you use a float type you're converting it to a float type whether user types in an integer integers can be converted to floats for example if you type in 10 the python in the background is going to add it to a 10.0 that's basically it but uh, whenever you type in uh, a float or an integer you should be able to convert it because a float can handle both an integer and float conversions okay so also make sure that you always have this as floats okay that's a good practice once i have this now let's go ahead and run our program again so let's even convert 10.2 kilograms into pounds and we get that amount of pounds then that's basically it our program so uh, we just wrote a program that takes in uh pounds and the kilograms and convert them into pounds so good so once we have this done, uh, we are good to go. So what's next on the list? You're going to learn about building a simple calculator. So I'm just going to go in here and just simply, uh, we can keep it as assignment uh, part. So I'm going to say part, uh, part underscore zero, uh, zero five dot Python, okay, dot pi. So uh, we're going to go ahead and learn how to deal with, uh, with uh, building a simple calculator in Python, okay? Okay, so once we have this done, I'm just going to go ahead and learn how to uh, pro write a program to build a simple calculator. So we're going to ask the user for two numbers, right? Two inputs, the first number and the second number. And you can decide to return to the user a product or uh, a product of those, those two values or uh, maybe a sum of those two values, those two numbers, right? So let me just go ahead and do that, right? So I'm just going to write a comment here and say a simple, a simple calculator, just like that. So I'm going to go ahead and simply pass in, I'm going to say num1. So I'm going to say num1 and num1 is going to be equals to the following. So num1 is going to be equals to an integer right you're going to, sorry you're going to take in an input rather so an input and this is going to be we're going to say first number okay and you're going to get the first number you're going to go ahead and store it in here but this first number but we say that by default all python inputs are stored as strings so we're going to convert this into a number that we can work with okay so let's all go ahead and let me just copy this right here copy this paste it here and this is going to be equals to number two now that you have the inputs let's convert this numbers into actual integers when so say int underscore num1 num1 is going to be uh equals to an integer value of the num1 okay and let me just copy that and paste it again here so it's going to be num2 uh, num2 and this is going to be change this to be num2 so we just got the the values this is going to be of type string so it's going to be of type str so str again the typings are not important if you want to skip them feel free to skip them but it's always a good practice to type uh, type into your course in python so if I start, after we convert them to an int it's going to be an int value and also we convert this to be an int it's also going to be an int value so right there so once we have that those two value values converted into an integer you can just print uh you can just say simply print out those results so just go ahead and simply print out the results okay so to do that you're just going to go ahead and simply say uh result it's going to be of type string and you're going to say result and then uh, sorry for this uh, it's just blocking the view so sorry for that uh, just say result and down here i'm going to go ahead and simply print uh int one right uh int one plus uh int two or you can do that you can store this in, in several another variable right you can say result and then finally do the calculations and then finally just print out the result va uh, variable right here but i'm just going to go ahead and keep it right there uh instead of just print printing it out right here so once i have that done uh, we are good to go so let's go ahead and actually test our program and make sure it works. So I'm going to go into my terminal, play the terminal, change the return to my basics, and then finally we can uh, find that file. So I'm say Python 3, if you're on Windows, it's pi. Okay, so say part, part, is be part 5, we have a simple calculator. E. So first number, let's say uh, 20 and 30, that should return to us 50. Uh, 20 and 30 should return to us uh, 50, right? But we got back, uh, finally we got back 40. And that's wrong because... 20 plus 30 should return 50 so let's go ahead and see where we made an error right here so uh we are converting okay we're just adding num1 and num1 twice we're adding 20 to us 20 and that's basically just 40 so we might bad there i just i forgot to change this to be num int num2 okay so once i have that i'm going to go ahead and run the code again so let's say 20 and 30 that should be 50 so we got the result as 50 good so uh, if that works as we expect it to but now uh, what if i don't a, a person goes and types in 20.4 20.5 and then 20.6 
our program is going to crash because well, i explained in the last video and actually in the, in the solution to the last assignment you can uh, convert a, a floating point number using an int right so we have to say that this is going to be of type float this will be safe okay so float uh, because float can handle both integer and floating point value so our program won't crash let me just change all the types here and then that's good so once we uh, we have that done we can go ahead and simply run our code again so i can say 20.5 uh plus uh, 20.6 that would be 40 uh 41 point something yeah 41.1 so good our program works so well. so even if i go ahead and write this maybe 20 and 30 it should still work and you get back 50 50.0 which is basically just 50 right so that's that's how we can work with uh, our calculator can work and uh, that's good that's how you can write the pro program uh, and, and it should work fine uh, but once you can also notice that this code is a bit verbose so let's try let's simplify down this code okay so i want you to actually have good practices when we're writing code so you can say float right here and then pass wrap this instead of float and also here just say float and then open parentheses and then close parentheses then the opening opening and closing parentheses should wrap this input part okay and now we're going to get back a float and not a string anymore so we're going to say this is going to be of type float so once we have that we can simply go ahead and add the, the two values instead of having to convert them back so delete that part of the code and you can just simply say num1 plus this is going to be num2 so let's delete that integer part so we're going to go ahead and, and just simply add num1 to num2 and that's basically what we need to do so we'll go ahead and clear the terminal run our program again and then finally pass in 20.5 and then 20.6 that's be 41.1 and yay our program works and uh, we can go ahead and simply create a simple calculator to add those two numbers if you want to multiply the numbers just change this to be a multiplication sign so let's just change this to be let me say 5 5 by 4 should be 20 20.0 20 because the float right so uh yeah that's great and that's how you can work with uh create a simple calculator in python so that's all for this video so let's see if you have any assignment for this video so we look at the solution to the last assignment and we have any assignment for this video no we don't have any assignments uh good so i just wanted to create a pro other programs uh learn how we create a one for addition and multiplication you can create one for division multi uh, division and other stuff like that so yeah that's basically it for this video thanks for watching again if you're new to the channel please kindly consider subscribing liking this video and sharing this content with anyone who you think might find it helpful thanks for watching and see you in the next one keep safe